Hi guys, it's Minx here. I'd like to thank our spooky, creepy, anonymous Patreon supporter for the support on Patreon this month. Thank you for the continued support, anonymous person, whoever you may be. You are anonymous and amazing. Thank you. Guys, if you want to help us unlock a relook at Lucius with me and Chrism doing the Sanctus Dominus this time, consider checking out our Patreon. There's still some high tier slots available. We had a big loss of um, supporters this month, so there's lots of cool stuff there. Go check it out and be a nomkin if you can. If you want to keep these long plays coming, we really would appreciate it. Shout out to Alice, our producer, of course. Alice, still there, still amazing, still super, super nom. Her links are on screen right now. We've got some videos coming with Alice this month. Oh my god. And some streams. It's going to be amazing. Hope you guys will tune in for those and enjoy this. This was taken from a stream, but I thought it was a game that was worthwhile making a little video of. This is Night of the Scissors, and it's nothing to do with lesbians. I am going to play the Night of the Scissors. Let's play. I told you this thing was heavy. I couldn't have lifted it on my own. Stop crying, chicken. Screw you, Kev. I'm ready to break in. What's the plan, then? The post office has been abandoned for months, and nobody's entered since. There's plenty of trash we can sell. Man, I can't wait to make some money and hit the, being, hit the bong once again. Make sure that no one is around, especially cops while I'm inside. And don't let the shutter roll down. The wood log should do the job, though. Sure. Head to the back part of the building. That's where the good stuff is. Fair enough. It's going to take a couple of minutes. I'll be right back. This game has permadeath. But it can be beaten in 10 minutes if you know what you're doing. It also has tank controls. It is not puppet combo, but it looks a lot like it. There's no pausing either. This is... I'm locked in now, guys. Open this door and interact with the environment by pressing the E, space bar, or enter key. If you prefer, you may use a mouse click. I'm actually using a, a fucking controller, but we'll see. I'm going to interest just a magazine showing a pretty woman in a cartoon cover. Wow. I believe this is like a granny clone again, but it's third person. Uh, there's no saves. If you get caught, we're dead. The old mailboxes don't seem to contain anything useful. Okay. But let's go further in. We are a thief. Robbing this place. Go back. Toggle the flashlight with the F key. In case Adam's in a hurry, run by pressing the shift key. Press the escape key to pause. Keep in mind you can only pause while Adam is hidden and safe. Interesting. Alright, let's get the controls down. Alright, that's run. What's flashlight? Why? Okay. It's a vending machine. I believe if they're static on screen, that means we're in trouble, by the way, guys. Okay. I just boosted the sound, which I might regret. There are a bunch of files about the customers here. Alright, we have a safe that we don't know the code for. Nothing useful here. I'm not going to run, because I've heard running in this game attracts attention as well. So I'm probably not going to run unless it's an emergency. Okay. Holy shit, was it the metal shutter in the entrance? I should check just in case. The shutter came down. We're trapped inside, guys. I mean, I knew that was going to happen. Can't use this vending machine. Yet yeah, we're trapped inside. What a surprise. Kevin, are you there? You knock the shutter. Nobody answers. I think Kevin might be dead, guys. I'm not hedging my bets on Kevin's survival here, I'm going to be honest with you. So 
So this game is apparently all about listening. To where, like, the enemy is and shit. So that's gonna be fun. Well, there's scissors on the wall here, which worry me a bit. Okay, that's a hiding place. And when you hide, you automatically turn your flashlight off. Stay out of the house. Take notes, please. I don't need to wash my hands now. Just need to masturbate furiously. Women? In a video game? I don't think so. Okay. It's a piece of newspaper article. It's a fact the snipper is undoubtedly still out there. Some transients claim hearing scissor sounds at the metro station while they're waiting alone. But nothing serious has happened. The police have searched every corner of the metro system without success. This is creepy. The snipper's kind of a shit name, by the way. For a serial killer. Just a regular soda vending machine. It was locked from the other side. Yeah, the slipper just sounds like he's going to circumcise somebody or cut their, umbilic on their umbilical cord or some shit. Oh shit, this guy's around the back. Holy shit, I don't like this. Someone's in here with me. Obviously. The note was poor handwriting. The paper's covered with blood. It states the following. I fed the soda vending machines and I taught my new friends a lesson. I've lost the kitchen key. Okay, we've got to check the vending machines. Now. He's going to circumcise your ass. Alright, how many times am I going to die before I finish this one? What do you think, guys? Should I kick it? Oh yeah! Resub! Mm, Hello, Minx. One. I hope her year is going GR8 so far. I unfortunately got COVID again same time as last year greater than but 80 at least him watching Earth stream today, yay. Thank you very much, Lens. Hang on, where the fuck were the other vending machines? Have I been in here? This is like a gym. Oh my god, that scared me. Is this a cardboard cutout of someone? It's a silhouette person made of cardboard. Looks like a businesswoman. That doesn't sound good. Is the Snipper's special skill that he likes to, um... Do, uh... Uh, what's it called? Origami? <gasps> like the origami killer? I am so lost, by the way, right now, guys. A piece of flesh comes out the machine. Lovely. Did I go in here? That's where the safe is, right? Okay, I did go in here. This place is way bigger than I thought it was. I'm very distracted. God, where the fuck is the fucking... He's coming. Do you hear him walking around, guys? He's running. He just ran past. Shit. Oh, 
I've got to find the way back to the original entrance because there was a soda machine there. That's true, he shouldn't be running with scissors, you're right. God, if only we could just tell him that. Here it is, this is what I'm looking for. He's here again. I think I might be in trouble, guys. Guys, I can't see shit. God, this is tense as fuck. Which one is it that has the keys? I feel like I've been to every soda machine in this place. Oh my god, it is. The vending machine puked it out. There's something inside it. Oh my god. Alright. Which way was the fucking kitchen? Well, at least we know what to do now. And we know what vending machine is if we die. Because we're probably going to have to do this again, guys. But at least we can do it from memory and it'll be easier. I think he went into the kitchen, I'm going to be honest with you. It's, it sounded like it. If I can remember where the kitchen was. This one here, right? Got the saw. He's coming. Oh god. Oh god, this is bad. Don't come in, 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 don't come in. Ah! Through the wall! Through the wall! He got me through the wall. Alright, let's try this again. At least I know what to do. Oh, it just hang on. Do I have to get the flesh? I'm not sure I actually have to get the flesh again. I think it just spawns you at the entrance. Right? Yeah, it does. Okay, so that it, you, okay, you, you, it, everything stays the same. It just spawns you at the entrance. He's coming. It's actually good. I think the saw is to remove the metal bars. Wouldn't you? I would assume that, right, guys? I wonder if we get anything for investigating where we died. I'll have a quick look. Should have hidden the fridge. That's what I should have done. I should have hidden the fridge or the oven. It's like in Nightcray when you hide in the tumble dryer and then he turns it on and it shreds your head off. It's one of the only good things in Nightcry. Alright. Progress. We cut through the bars. I'm enjoying this so far. It's pretty tense. A bunch of old males. I mean, it is a post office. Post office! Can't think of many horror games set in a post office now I think about it. I'm going to be honest with you. Piece of newspaper article. Marie Caldwell, 34-year-old female, Jeremiah Curtis, 29, Harold Blair, 76, Nathan Watson, 24, reported missing within three days. They do not know each other and have nothing in common except they went for a late-night walk. Police suspects they could have been abducted and recommends not leaving the home during night time.
We haven't been this way at all yet, I don't think. Another soda machine? Oh my god. I can't kick them anymore, guys. I'm walking slowly, so as to not attract attention to myself as best as possible. I'm assuming if I run, he's going to spawn more often. The floor collapsed on this spot. I can see some power generators from here, but I need a rope to go down if I want to keep my ankles. Okay, so we need a rope. A newspaper article from March. They were locked and tortured to death with a pair of scissors. It was a massacre. There were blood and flesh everywhere and the bodies were unrecognisable. By counting the limbs, the forensics could determine a total of four murders coincidentally. Four person-shaped cardboard silhouettes were found in the place. The suspect, publicly known as the Sniffer, is still on the chase and could be hidden anywhere. Okay, so the, the puppets count as are like his victims. The uh, cutouts. So he makes cutouts of everyone he kills. That's why he's called the Snipper. That and he circumcises them. Obviously. I don't see any rope around here. I'm guessing the rope would be glowing like everything else that's been important so far. He's coming. You've always got something to circumcise, Lucky. Unless you've already been circumcised. That's just the note there, right? Yeah. Gives you a haircut? Probably does. Think of him like as like a friendlier Sweeney Todd. Yeah. Is that the hole from before? Okay, yeah, we need the rope. All right. Here's the rope. All right. Where was the fucking hole? Here. Go, 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 go. Get down. The rope seems sturdy. I don't know how it got cut. Luckily, I haven't gotten injured. But how am I? But how long have I been unconscious for? Maybe an hour. Who knows? Oh shit! We've been unconscious for an hour. Wow. The warehouse generator is on. I can escape through the exit shutter now. All right. Are we nearly done already. Another note written with blood. Did you rest well? I prepared a good surprise to entertain you in the next room. If you touch my scissors, you die. I can't wait to turn you into my friend. Oh, this sounds really bad. Oh no! He's hung them up! If we touch these, we're dead. Oh god. The door's locked. Oh, with this camera angle? This is not easy.
Okay, I got the trophy Flawless Hazard neg Negotiation. I'm amazing. Did I just go? I did. A silhouette of a person made of cardboard. It seems like an old man wearing a hat. A huge pile of debris blocks the corridor. It's an old note written by a supervisor. It states the following. Karen, I'm still unsure, but the employees may have been stinging again from the supply room. I put the key in the safe box on customer support room. The lock is 3482. Don't grab the cash. It's the collections of the day. Okay, let's do that. 3482. We know where that is somewhere. We, we know we've been there. But we need to unlock it now for a key. Where does this take us? Oh shit, this could be back where we were, right? All right, it's taking us back here. My plan is to go and get the safe key at least for now. <laughs> Dead. Okay. He came out of fucking nowhere, alright? You, you have to tell- you have to say this, guys. I know we respawn, so it's not that big a deal, but he came out of nowhere and he scared the fucking shit out of me, okay? He scared the literal fucking shit out of me there, Jesus Christ. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking book it, I don't care. We're booking it, alright? Although the run animation is not is not good, right? Let's be honest here. I'm dead as fuck. Maybe not. He's in the room with me. This light is staying off until the static is gone. I think the office is up here. Yeah, 3482, right, was the code, I think. There's a bunch of money in there, got cash as well. I mean, I am a thief. Gotta do my job, right? Alright, let's get back out of here. This is a tense little game. Oh, wrong way. I didn't go through, I didn't go through the hole. I like it. Whew. Freaking me out, guys. Oh my god.
Yeah, there's no way Kevin's alive. I don't, we didn't go, hang on, where the fuck did I get, how did I, where, which door did I come out of here? This one? Up. We haven't been up here yet. Although I'm a little worried how up we're going right now. What is this? The door is locked. Okay, we need a key for that. Supply room. I think we've got the key for that now, though. Yeah, we use the key. A toolbox has nothing in it. We've got duct tape. What the fuck is that for? What is the duct tape for? Like, I have no idea. I don't think that we've seen anything, right, that uses that. That I've looked at, at least. I'm dead, I think, guys. You can fuck off. That's right, Nom can fuck off. Oh, it's like a guy's torso there. Jesus, someone was tortured to death. He must be getting frustrated that, like, you know, I'm alive. Nothing down here. I wonder if there was like a fuse box or something in the basement I need to like fix with electrical tape or some shit. Let's check that out. Oh god. Actually, I don't think- I'm changing my mind. I don't want to go this way. <laughs> ah! I touched the fucking things. I've got to get back through them. I think there's a door back that way that I didn't go through. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me! Is there a door back this way? I guess we're about to find out. There's a door here, see? Was this locked, though? Oh, fuck. Then what do I do to open it? Anything in here I need to repair? There's nothing here, is there? This was a waste of time. There's nothing here. There's nothing here. There's nothing here! Oh, I did tell you what I haven't done. Tried the front door again, now we've restored the power. That sounds like it's probably a good idea, right? Fuck. All right, fuck off. Shoo. Shoo! You bumpkin. What a bumpkin. Stop running back and forth outside my fucking thing with your little scissors. He's just a devout lesbian, guys. He just likes to scissor really hard. That's all he does. Come on. A devout lesbian. Why am I- why is my vision blue? Why is the screen wobbly? You guys seeing this? Join me and my 
Or not. He's still around, that's why it was wobbly. <laughs> Did he say, join me in my crib? I think that's what he said. Join me in my crib. That's what he said. What a fucking arsehole. I'm gonna wait for him to leave. Nah, he definitely said in my creep. That makes far more sense than me and my friends. Join me and my friends. Because creep's a real thing. No, my screen is still weird. I wonder if it's like I've taken too long or some shit? Maybe I am bleeding out or some shit. I don't fucking know. Hang on, is that a fuse box? The lever opens the electrical shutter was ripped off. Oh shit, is this the way out? It is. We need to find a we need to find a lever and probably reattach it. That's what we need, guys. Here, 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 here. 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 Use the duct tape to rewire the panel. Yeah. No. I think we're getting arrested, guys. Just got a feeling. I'll take my chances with the cops, I say, as I go down in the hail of bullets. I thought this was a fun little bite-sized horror game. It's very simple when it comes to granny-type clones, but... You know, it's not a bad little game, right? Made by one person, it looks like, too. I thought this was decent. This was a cool little game. I liked it. We'll let the credits play out, guys, because chat, we're on YouTube right now. You know that? Not right now, but later on. That makes sense, actually. Kareem should be in everything, I would say. I think this genre of like little bite-sized 80s horror that's been happening more and more, we've played quite a few of these on stream lately. It's been pretty good, actually. Like Some of them are a little bit frustrating. There was that one where that chick killed me through the floor, remember? That was really annoying. Because the progress you lose on that was quite big. But generally speaking, I thought this was um, I thought this was pretty good. Very tense little game. The sound effects made it tense. I like them. I think they make it for an enjoyable little experience. You know what I mean? The night of getting scissored. <laughs> That's just every night for me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Every night. Alright, that was the night of the scissors. Awesome.